paititi kichiji y panomet, tlen mi katzitzin, a shikneki mamo cuapa, iguan, motla tlanilica se al tepet y ka al tepet. This wooden firearm is almost an exact replica of a modern assault rifle. The artisan who made this must have had an excellent memory or worked from a model, perhaps a weapon stolen from Trinity. <laughs> Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. Helubeita la mani. How long are you going to maintain this charade of rebellion? Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. And you say this to my face? Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home! Unaru, to dream for a moment. How will Paititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny, together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. 
Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Take her back to her cell. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. How Kukul Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the...
In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic. That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north. The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward. The first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly, their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one, in fact presiding over the fifth age after the four previous sons had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was... The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Cayuaca Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards. Jonah, I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay, we're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah, when I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon, we have to hurry. Yeah, when we get Unuratu out, we'll all go find the box together.
Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. The Aztecs worshipped him as a force of nature, responsible for the wind and the rain. In his most wrathful tempers, these natural phenomena became extreme, acting to cleanse the earth and sky. Through that, he also became associated with justice and with mercy, according to one legend. <laughs> I can barely see the bottom. Hope there is a bottom. Cavern must have been carved by an underground river. up there.
May the rivers of the afterlife be calm, and Uturanku's boat sturdy to ferry us across them. <laughs> River, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. Okay. is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged or the world we made, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chin. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chim Chichika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. It's 
going to be crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there's no time to waste. How is Edsley? Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Jonah, I'm with Unuratu. No good. Edsley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending back up. Should I support Uchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Edsley. Trust your instincts. Let's call and go ele lo puti. Let's be la with job. Describe something nearby. A once ferocious warrior raised as a warning. They fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him.
Thank you.